In the following demonstration, we're going to walk through the process of publishing a report block as a BI service. If you look on your screen, you see that I've created a report block inside of a web intelligence report. If we go to the top right hand corner and select the uh, table to where it's highlighted as you see here, if we right click and select publish block, a wizard will show up. Um, the first selection is the prompts defined at the query level. Uh, these have to be satisfied obviously for the report to work. Uh, they will later become available as an input parameter for my web service. I'm going to choose all of them. I'm going to set a name. And then importantly, I need to also select which report level objects will be available for, for filtering. Uh, my general rule here is that I unselect everything that I'm not going to be using. This particular example is 100% live, so I'm not going to select any report object. Now it's also important to note that each one of these objects will be available as an input parameter if they're selected. So it's also wise to unselect these just to cut down on the clutter. I'm going to choose my web service. Now I have an existing web service here that I could use, but uh, for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm going to create one more. This web service can be reused by multiple published blocks. The blocks really become methods to the web service. So I can have one or more blocks. I'm going to choose my authentication type as enterprise. And we can see now that this is created. And when I click finish, I have a new web service and a new method. Now I can test this method using by selecting the web service and using the test web service. And you see here I have two operations, get report block and drill demo publish block. Now again, this is just a test utility. Helps you figure out the parameters that um, you, know, you have for the input, kind of get an idea of what you want to use for them before you get to Excelsius. But what we're going to do right now is take this web service into Excelsius. So I'm going to go get the WSDL. So here's the web service definition language. I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to go to Excelsius now and add queries a web service. Now it's important, even though this is a BI service, we still select queries a web service because it manages the authentication. Uh, if you chose the generic web service, you wouldn't be able to use this very well uh, unless you created a flash var and passed in the, the, the session token. So we're going to call this demo. And then we're going to import the WSDL. And again, notice the two methods. Or the drill and get report block. As we select each one, you'll notice there's a different series of input parameters. Um, for example, the drill has the drill path, the drill filter, of course all of the query level prompts, whereas the report block just has the query level prompts. So depending on what you're doing, uh, the report block is obviously going to be good for just static content that you want to display and be able to manipulate through prompts alone, but if you're going to actually do any type of drilling